Hey guys, what's up? It's your boy T, putting the G in Geek, coming to you with another episode of On The Hunt. You know, the weekly web series where I tell you the hot books that I'm looking for. Now I gotta start this video off like I start all the videos off by saying, you know, this isn't really investment advice. This isn't really financial advice. You know what I mean? We're just trying to get some of the hot books to cover price. It's all for fun, so please don't spend your rent money. Another point of this video is to share information with each other, share information with me. I don't know what you're getting. I may want to get it. Day is young. It's the best day of the week. Comic day. So let's get right to it. As always, we're going to start out with Marvel. But before we do, I got to remind you guys, please like, subscribe, hit the bell, do all that good stuff. Really helps the channel out. I know you could tell it kind of got late on me, but hey, show must go on. So let's get right into Marvel. First book I pick up from Marvel this week is Immortal Hulk number 18. Uh, this issue we're supposed to see the first, first full appearance of the new Abomination. Plus you get a beautiful Alex Ross cover. Man, his covers on this series have been so good. Uh, Immortal Hulk continues to be on fire, so for me this is a must grab. Uh, next book I'd pick up is Major X number 4. Uh, not really much going on in this Major X, but since the rest of the book's been on fire, I thought I would include it. Plus, I'm sure plenty of people are trying to complete their sets. Uh, next book I'd pick up is Thanos number 2. Uh, this book we get the origin of the Black Order, plus a pretty sweet Jeff Deco cover. Uh, it has a nice painted Thanos with a young Gamora on his chest. Cool stuff for sure. Uh, lastly, I'd pick up just one book for the cover this week, and that is Spider-Man City at War. Number three, the Gang Huck Lim variant. Uh, this is just a really nice Spider-Man cover. I really love the painted Spider-Man on it, uh, and that's all I'm going to grab from Marvel. Next, we're going to move on to DC, and only a couple books I'd grab from DC this week. The first one being Batman Last Night on Earth, number one. This is supposed to be the final run for Snyder and Capullo on Batman. Uh, it looks really interesting and probably is a must grab for me. Uh, we're supposed to see many familiar faces, so I'm sure a great gallery of Batman, Batman's villains will be present. Uh, not only is the regular cover really cool, but the jock cover is done really well. Again, must grab for me for sure. Uh, and lastly, like I said, small week from DC. Uh, the book I'd pick up is Doomsday Clock number 10. Uh, this book has the origin of Dr. Manhattan in it, but it's not the first time his origin's been told. That was in the issue 4 of the original Watchmen series. Uh, the only thing different is they're supposed to show how he connects to the whole DC universe. So, I mean, there could be a revelation there. Uh, there's a good chance I won't get this, but it's a pretty small week from DC. And that's gonna do it. Next, we're gonna move on to some indies. Uh, pretty good week for indies this week. First comic I'm going to hit up is Aftershock Comics, and the book I'm going to pick up from Aftershock Comics is Killer Grooves, number one. This sounds like an interesting story about a struggling musician that ends up getting involved with some sort of hitman. Uh, the indies tend to be mature and grittier, so it might be worth the look, and that's going to do it for Aftershock. Next up, we're going to hit Antarctic Press, and one book I'd grab from Antarctic this week, that is Horror Comics, number one. Uh, this is a story about an ice cream man that serves ice cream made from the flesh of his victims. Uh, both covers look pretty dark and bloody. Uh, I'll have a flip through and check out the art for sure. And that's going to do it for Antarctic. Next we're going to hit up Comics Tribe. And one book I grabbed from Comics Tribe this week is Wailing Blade number 1. Uh, this is a story about a feared executioner that kills anyone who meets his gaze. Uh, that's pretty hardcore. Um, chasing after, and he's chasing after some bandit prince, I guess. Uh, it's an oversized issue that promises massive amounts of skull-splitting action, so that sounds really cool. Uh, I just can't wait to really see the art inside this book. Uh, that, that book is currently sold out in Diamond. I mean, I'm going to check it out for sure, and that's going to do it for Comics Tribe. Next, we're going to move on to Udon Entertainment, and one book I'd grab from Udon this week, and that is Street Fighter 2019 Pin-Up Special. Uh, the Asia Lad L Ladiscal variant, to be particular. Cheesecake and Street Fighter, I mean, what's not to love? You know I'm all about that. Um, this cover's my favorite, and I've been picking up these Street Fighter pinup issue specials for the last couple years. So, like I said, I'm into Cheesecake. I really like how they got all the Street Fighter characters. I don't know, it's kind of cool. I like it, and that's going to do it for Udon. Lastly, we're going to move on to Vault Comics, and again, only one book I'd pick up from Vault Comics this week, and that is She Said Destroy number one. Uh, this is a neat saga homage cover on this one. Um, it, 
The interiors don't look too bad either. From what Mark was saying, he kind of had to look through it and said that the interiors weren't too bad. So I'm going to have to have a check out for that one for sure. Uh, seems like the story is about gods and whatnot. So, I mean, it could be cool if they're being, you know, pompous or something like that. I really, you know, cocky and they're gods. So I don't know. It's definitely worth a check out. And I mean, I do like that homage cover. So that's what I'm going to check out from Vault. Well, guys, that's going to do it for another episode of On The Hunt. You know, if you like this video, please like, subscribe, hit the bell, do all that good stuff. Make sure you always check out SaddleCityComics.com. We got a lot of books on there. Uh, we're on eBay, Instagram. You know what I mean? Make sure you search up the store. We always got a lot of good stuff on there. Um, we always got a lot of good content coming, so make sure you always keep it locked to this channel. You know what I mean? I don't know. I'd love to stay in chat with you guys. You know what I mean? But... Time is ticking. Got to get my butt out there and get these books. Hope you guys have good luck getting these books too. I'll see you next week. Peace.